good to see you again, Detective. Mr. Xanatos realizes this must have been a most difficult day for you. He has no idea. Thank you for coming right away. I tried to see Angela, but I've been barred from visiting her cell. Yes, I understand Ms. Yale has branded you a gargoyle sympathizer. <laughs> I guess I am. In a minute, Angela will wake up to find out the clan's dead. The whole world is against her, and she's all alone. Not quite all alone. Your bath is ready, Hudson. Oh, where did those filthy little bookends come from? Why didn't you watch where you were going? I knew you couldn't be trusted with heavy machinery. Oh, you guys, don't you think you're being a little hard on Chucky? Chucky? What about Izzy? Goodbye, Iz. We hardly knew ye. Oh, thank goodness he followed you two. What were you doing? You could have been hurt. And you disobeyed. I'm afraid we'll have to ground you. Oh, yes. Crossing the magnificent desert on camelback. <laughs> what an adventure. <laughs> should be somebody a little more even-tempered, child. That temper of yours is going to get you into a lot of trouble someday. Temper? Temper, woman, you ain't seen my temper. <clears throat> If I ever catch that fox in my property again, I'll blast him. And next time, I won't miss. Yes, you do. All right, just one more. Nothing but a straight fucking dog, Brownie. Did you shake yourself? Because Captain Hook is most insistent. No, he won't. Peter Pan will save us. You can't go stomping around. My mom will work out. <laughs> That's right. So you have got to stay in the forest, and I'll bring you some food. Stark Enterprises? Tony Stark? Well, he's just one of our government contractors, a businessman. But also the man who supplied Bruce Banner with the materials to build his infamous gamma reactor? Well then, let's place us a little person-to-person -person call. How could he desert me now? But at least he left you well armed. In theory, anyway. standing there long enough you lied everything you said everything you told me why do you do this to me Detweiler do you enjoy tormenting me do you hate me you betrayed Syracuse oh not you two stealing the book of peace when you knew how much it meant to us Proteus here's the way this works First, I actually commit a crime, and then you get to blame me for it. And how do you explain this? Must this all end in violence? I'd hate to be responsible for the death of a family member. How you embarrassed me! How you humiliated me! How you destroyed recess! You must understand the pressures of ruling a kingdom. The human race is out of gas. It's circling the drain. It's finished! You blasted Darkseid's boom tube and sent him hurtling into some unknown universe. This is all your fault. Oh, oh, oh. My plan was that we should lie low. But your plan was to run off and be all, oh, look at me, look at me, I'm a god. That's not true. No? Who are you kidding? You're buying your own con. At least I'm not dating mine. I... If you're gonna stay here, you gotta keep better track of yourself. Sheesh. Anyway, I thought you'd like, you know, a bedtime story or something. Oh, okay, well, I would, naturally. However, there is one little problem. Uh, Sir Ruba, always thinking of yourself. Right. As knights of the round table, our obligation is to the people, right. not to ourselves. Yeah. I will not serve a false king. It's Harvey. He's all mopey and useless because the spy videos released, they got pushed back a week. We had no choice. Please, we're just desperate to protect the people we love. Still grosses me out, sir. Shh. But this time, Pete, I'm gonna humiliate you. This time, I'm gonna prove to the world that you were wrong and I was right. But what about expressing yourself? Every minute I'm in that classroom, I'm learning new things about the Fire Nation. I already have a picture of Fire Lord Ozai. It just says, the heart of Atlantis lies in the eyes of her king. Well, then maybe old King Cole here can help us fill in the blanks. How about it, Chief? Where's the crystal chain? It must be somewhere in the Andali Nebula. Uh, we did it, kid. The Titan is as good as ours. 
He must have been here, standing here. Right here. Who? This could be your chance to make a fresh start in a new place. Put the quarrymen behind you. Xanatos, your intentions are good. But it is not our nature to hide away or to abandon the Protectorate. And besides, we've still got to get Angela and Bronx out of the slammer. I must confess, that's one complication I didn't anticipate. But if we go to the police, let them see the clan still alive and kicking. Come morning. There'd be seven of us behind bars instead of two. Hudson's right. For the time being, at least, Angela and Bronx are safe right where they are. Margot Yale may share some of the quarrymen's views, but she won't tolerate vigilante justice. I'm off to see what I can do downtown. Meantime, you guys lie low. Yes. Of course. I'm awful sorry for wrecking your book. Me and the Lost Boys, we want to do something to make it up to you. We want you to feel like... Well... Like you're one of us. Oh, what is it this time? But you'll have to think like a lost boy. Uh, and have fun like a lost boy. Oh, thank you. You are truly noble. I'll make it up to you, I promise. I've got some really cool ones. If the tiara fits, wear it. Ooh, I smell trouble. <laughs>